In the previous video, we had seen about the saturated fatty acid. In this video, I am going to discuss about unsaturated fatty acids. We know that in unsaturated fatty acid, there is a presence of at least one double bond. There is presence of at least, at least one double bond, at least one double bond is present. Now, based on the number of double bonds, these unsaturated fatty acids are further divided into two groups. So, if only one double bond is present, if only one double bond is present, we call it as a mono unsaturated fatty acid. The mono that means only one double bond is there. If more than one double bond is present, if more than one double bond is present, we call it as a poly unsaturated fatty acid and poly means more than one poly unsaturated fatty acids. So, we will first look at the mono unsaturated fatty acid. We will see its various dietary sources and various examples. Then we will move on to the poly unsaturated fatty acid. So, first let us see about the mono unsaturated fatty acid. Its popular short form is MUFA. If you are reading some literature where many a time this short form is used. So, do not get confused over there. Its simple meaning is mono unsaturated fatty acid, fatty acids having only one double bond. So, let us first look at the certain examples. So, the first example is palmitoleic acid. This palmitoleic acid is 16 carbon long compound. In the previous video, in the in the previous video, we had seen the shorthand notation technique of various fatty acids. So, in that shorthand notation, we first write the number of carbons, then we write the colon. After colon, we write the number of double bond. And as this is a this is compound which is contained under mono unsaturated fatty acid, double bond is one. And then in the bracket, we write the location of double bond. Okay. So here the delta that means we are counting we are counting the carbon number from the C double OH side. So, from that side, there is a double bond between 9th and 10th carbon and so, we write a lower number that is delta 9. Okay. So, this compound is the palmitoleic acid. The second example is the oleic acid. <coughs> now, this oleic acid is the 18 carbon long compound, then we will write colon, then it has one double bond. So, we write 1 after colon and the location of double bond. So, that location is again between 9th and 10th carbon from the carboxylic group side. So, we write delta 9. The third example is of the elidic acid. It is of the elidic acid and in this elidic acid also, it is 18 carbon compound having one double bond and the location of the double bond is delta 9. It is delta 9. So, if you see over here that in case of oleic acid and in case of elidic acid, both shorthand notation is same. That means, it looks like that both structure is same, but no, it is not so. In case of this oleic acid, this double bond, this double bond is in cis configuration. It is in the cis configuration, whereas in case of elidic acid, this double bond is in trans configuration. It is in the trans configuration. Now, what is the meaning of cis configuration? So, whenever double bonds are there and the two opposite groups are in the same direction, we call it as a cis configuration. And when we call something as a trans configuration, when the double bond is there and the opposite groups are on the opposite direction, like one group is on this side and another group is on this side, such type of configuration, we call it as a trans configuration. Now, the more information regarding the cis and trans information will be covered in the subsequent lectures. Okay. Now, let us come to the food sources. What are the food sources? What are the food sources of this mono unsaturated fatty acid? So, the richest source of mono unsaturated fatty acid is the mustard oil. It is the mustard oil and another source is the rapeseed oil. It is the rapeseed oil. <coughs> now, these are the English word and many students had difficulty in, in mentioning the name in the local language. So, in Hindi, this mustard means rye, mustard means rye that black small uh, small seeds are there that those are the rye and rapeseed oil is the sarso, is the sarso. So, if you want to look at the picture, see this is the mustard, this is the mustard and in Hindi, it is commonly known as rye. Whereas this is the this is the sarso or rapeseed oil, or sorry rapeseed rapeseeds are there. So in the common Hindi it is known as sarso. Okay. So now let's look at the polyunsaturated fatty acids. This polyunsaturated fatty acid, as its name suggests, it has more than one double bond, or you can say two or more double bonds are there. Okay. So uh, before we discuss about its various example, first look at their food sources. So the richest source, 
the richest source on the first rank the first richest source of polyunsaturated fatty acid is the safflower oil it's a safflower oil and the second richest source of this polyunsaturated fatty acid is sunflower oil it is sunflower oil <coughs> okay and the least source of this polyunsaturated fatty acid the minimum the least source or poorest source of polyunsaturated fatty acid is the coconut oil it is the coconut oil so these are the important food sources which are frequently asked in the exam in various entrance exams so now it's a time to look at the examples of polyunsaturated fatty acid remember in polyunsaturated fatty acid we are going to discuss about the six examples six examples all these six examples are very very important from the exam point of view as well as from your real life uh, importance okay so the first example is linoleic acid this linoleic acid is the 18 carbon long compound it is 18 carbon long compound and it has two double bonds so we write colon and then two now what is the location of these double bonds so location both location both double bonds location is on the ninth and 12th carbon what does it mean that means first double bond is between 9th and 10th carbon and second double bond is between 12th 12th and 13th carbon okay so what is the richest source of linoleic acid the richest source of linoleic acid is safflower oil it's a safflower oil now what is safflower oil the saffron has a seeds and that seeds oil it is known as safflower oil okay so that is the source of linoleic acid the second example is the alpha linolenic acid alpha linolenic acid this alpha linolenic acid is again 18 carbon long compound but here instead of two it is three double bonds so here the unsaturation level of unsaturation is higher than the linoleic acid now what are the locations of all these three double bond so the first double bond is between 9th and 10th carbon the second double bond is between 12th and 13th carbon and the third double bond is between 15th and 16th carbon and at all the places we write down the lower number so this alpha linoleic acid what is the richest source of this alpha linoleic acid it is a flax seed oil it is the flax seed oil now in the common in the common language in the hindi it is also known as alsi okay it is also known as alsi okay the third example is the gamma linolenic acid the third example is gamma linolenic acid and this particular polyunsaturated fatty acid is very important one its popular short form is gla it is popularly it is known by its short form that is gla that is full form is gamma linolenic acid now again this is also 18 carbon long compound 18 carbon long compound again it is three double bonds it is three double bonds so just like alpha linolenic acid this gamma linolenic acid is also 18 carbon long and having three double bond so what are the locations of this all three double bonds so the first location is delta 6 then 9 and then 12 so here you can see there is a slight difference in the location of double bonds and that's why it's alpha and gamma the rest name is same okay now why i said that this is of particular interest and of particular particular importance that is because because it's it is its richest source is the evening primrose oil it is evening primrose oil and boraj oil and boraj oil this both are have this evening primrose oil and boraj oil they are used they are used in the fibro adenoma of the breast they are used in the fibro adenoma fibro adenoma of breast so the patient feels patient feels less pain if they are taking gamma linolenic acid of gamma linolenic acid then the patients of fibroadenoma breast feels a less pain okay so but there is no any uh, no any clinical evidence that it actually reduces the pain the controversy is going on but yes it's a trending oil it's a uh, it's a popular in the market for this purpose okay but still it is not uh, it is uh, in some places it is approved in some places it is not approved okay what is the next example the next example is the arachidonic acid this arachidonic acid arachidonic acid is the 20 carbon long compound having four double bonds and the location of the double bonds are delta 5 delta 5 8 11 and 14 
okay so this is the short and technique for the arachidonic acid the arachidonic acid it is found in the animal fat it is found in the animal fat and actually arachidonic acid is important important because it gives rise to a prostaglandin synthesis prosta glandins this prostaglandins this compound these are the local hormone which are synthesized from the arachidonic acid the next example is of the timnodonic acid timnodonic acid its other name is icosa pentaenoic acid its other name is icosa penta enoic acid its popular short form is epa this short form you have to remember this gla and then this epa now see icosa means 20 penta means 5 and enoic means double bond so it's a 20 carbon long compound having a five double bonds okay so its short form is it's a 20 carbon long compound then colon then five double bonds and now what is the location what are the locations of all these five double bonds so we write delta then we have 5 8 11 14 and 17 okay so these are all the locations of double bond the next example is the sarvonic acid is the sarvonic acid and its other name is docosa hexa enoic acid its other name is docosa hexa enoic enoic acid and its popular short form is dha its popular short form is dha now docosa means 22 docosa means 22 hexa means 6 and enoic means double bond so this sarvonic acid is again 22 carbon long compound then colon then six double bond and what are the locations of this double bond so we write delta and then we write the locations of all the double bonds so first location is four then seven then ten then thirteen then sixteen and then nineteen so there are so many double bonds are there in case of sarvonic acid this sarvonic acid and timnodonic acid this both compound both compound their richest food source is the fish oil is the fish oil especially of the small fishes okay so fish oil in the market fish oil capsules are also available fish oil capsules are also available but remember the natural food source is always a fish oil and particularly of the small fish and apart from fish oil it is also rich in human milk or you can say breast milk so human breast milk is also a richest source of timnodonic acid and sarvonic acid so now i'm highlighting these two fatty acids I am highlighting these two fatty acid. One is gamma linolenic acid, this gamma linolenic acid and sarvonic acid. Actually, these two fatty acids are actually popular among the common public, among the common public, and uh, it is very popular. It is in the trend. The reason is this gamma linolenic acid, this gamma linolenic acid and sarvonic acid, both are believed or both are believed to be used in the brain development. Both are believed to be used in brain development brain development so many pregnant ladies they take gamma linolenic acid and sarvonic acid while they are pregnant and this is also given to the children but again their clinical uh, utility their clinical utility is still questionable okay so this was all about polyunsaturated fatty acids so with this i complete my discussion about the unsaturated fatty acids if you have any query or confusion please write it down in the comment section below Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.